Hey everybody, I'm Philip. And I'm Justin. And together we are pajamas. And finally, oh, it finally arrived. Justin's anniversary present. Oh, it's weeks after the day. Oh. Well, as long as it's here. Oh. This is not a surprise video. This is not a like, oh, here it is. Be surprised. You know what this is because we sat for like, what, hours? <laughs> like two yes. hours? Scouring the internet, trying to find something appropriate that you would like. And we ordered it and it finally arrived. Our anniversary was like a month ago. <laughs> it's finally here. We ordered it before the date. <laughs> but as you said, the important thing is that it's here. And you expressed interest in wanting to unbox it in front of everyone. So I said, fine. And I thought that was a cool idea. So yeah, um, here is your anniversary present. You get all the stuff out. Oh, that's what I smell. Oh my gosh. How does that not smell like? It smells like it's a new product. Fresh from manufacturing. It smells, it smells like an ashtray. Oh, we Very have fresh from manufacturing. <laughs> I guess. We have for Justin. Brand new boots. Yes, I love to wear boots, especially ones with high heels. Yeah. When I first met Justin, he had a pair of boots. They were taller and I think a little chunkier of a heel. And uh, actually the brown trim looks much better in person than it did online. Because mm -hmm. we, were, we, were, we were trying to find him a black sole mm -hmm. and we couldn't. Why do you smell like cigarette smoke? This was the closest thing we could find to the style he liked. So, a pair of back, black boots for Justin, yay. There's one that for some reason smell like they're wrapped in an ashtray. These things smell just like an ashtray. That is crazy. But I'll go, I'll go ahead and take the box so you can inspect. I'm obviously you're holding your gift. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. What's this Vance company on the side? Um, these are Landon boots in black, just in size. We hope they are going to be true to fit. This product can expose you to chemicals, including lead which is known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects. Why would you wait? Well, it's a good thing that I don't have to worry about getting pregnant, so you don't have to worry about me yet ending up having someone with a birth defect. Okay. And also, historically, we have, we've been, because the boots you had were really durable. You've had them for a oh, long yes. time. And they made good work boots for you. And mm -hmm. since then, we've been trying to buy, buy you, like, work-style shoes that are durable, but they always fall apart yes. in like a month. <laughs> so I think we continue to buy. So I'm hoping that these will be of high enough quality. If they start to get to uh, wear and tear, I guess maybe save them for non-work stuff. Also, one thing about the boots that I had was that they were genuine leather. Mm -hmm. And well, since I love leather, but Philip is from to his commitments of veganism. So what can we do to have leather and yet have it vegan? Faux leather, which is actually not too much of a challenge to find. It is possible to find faux leather boots, although we had a little bit of trouble trying to find it exactly like yeah. this. But the fact that we were able to do it shows that it may be a little difficult, but it isn't impossible to find full leather stylish boots, which shows that you can still maintain your commitments without having to sacrifice style. He put it in a way that makes me sound like a tyrant or like a crazy person. Um, I no, if, uh, if, if people if people know me in real life, I'm not preachy about it. Yes, I know. It's that I want you to be able to feel comfortable in your own home, right, which what? includes having things around the house that won't make you feel uncomfortable yeah i mean it's 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 our home yes. so i i want that to be stressed that i'm not like the lord of the house but justin does out of respect and uh whatnot he does do certain things too when you got your jewish things that hang by the uh, by the doors i forgot what they're called oh the mezuzah mezuzah yeah apparently they have like animal Oh, it's the parchment. Yeah, the parchment that goes inside of them is usually... It's made from a kosher animal, yes. So, to compromise for that, I have a picture of the parchment printed on paper, mm -hmm. rolled up and put in them. Right, so... 
the uh, the intent is still there, and I, I appreciate it. I do. Uh, and with these, don't take I, it lightly that he does this for me. And with these, I think that they could be as durable as actual leather. It feels like it, yeah. But in general, I stress whether you're vegan or not. Uh, do homework. Like, no matter if it's shoes or whatever, like, you know, if I'm going to buy something, I do an exhaustive amount of research into the product. And we did. We spent, like, two hours looking for, like, the perfect boots. We found the boots he used to have. But, on, as he said, sadly, they were uh, leather. And we looked on, we looked at the company, looked on their page. We looked for boots like that with uh, vegan leather, faux leather. And this is the closest we could find. So. It can be done. Yeah. And I do appreciate it that you... Uh, We'll go to the, go to these links for me, as you, you as you have in the past. But again, just to reiterate, I'm not a tyrant about it. It's just part of who I am. I want us both to be comfortable in our own home. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right, do you want to go try these on? Yes, I would. Okay, we're gonna go to the other room. The, the lighting's not gonna be as good. It's gonna be the living room lighting, which sucks. So uh, we'll be back in a second with inferior lighting and audio, and Justin will try on his new boots. We'll be back in a second. All right, we are back in the living room. I am behind the camera, and Justin is about ready to try on his new boots. And they slip on very well. They, this was definitely a good size to get. They, are tight enough that it doesn't feel so loose, yet mm -hmm. at the same time it's loose enough that it isn't suffocating. Right. Good. Let's see how they uh, feel walking. Since it'll be quieter to walk on this surface. Yes, it's wonderful. You like them? Yes, I do. Awesome. Thank you so much for getting them for me. You're welcome. So that is the end of the unboxing and... Uh trying on of Justin's anniversary present, and I'm glad you liked it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.